Hi, my name's Helen, and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome, and if you're a returner, then thank you so much, honestly. Um, it's, it's quite remarkable how many people are now watching my videos and being so lovely in all the comments. I really, honestly, appreciate it so much. It's more than I ever could have expected, to be honest. I just started this six months ago as a kind of little project I was I was a bit down in the dumps a bit low and uh, my niece who had become profoundly deaf which if you look at some of my earlier videos you'll see her story had taken to YouTube to um, kind of journal her progress and she now has a cochlear implant and she is hoping to get another one and it's she's off to university in September so anyway I saw that and I um, I'd, I'd thought about doing one for a long time and so I did and it pootled along without much interest for quite a while and then suddenly um, I guess the algorithms I don't really know what I'm talking about um, changed and something happened and it just suddenly took off and and I've got loads of lovely subscribers and loads of lovely comments and I'm thoroughly enjoying doing it so anyway that's all of that if you haven't subscribed then please do and if you can um, ring the little bell thing, you'll get notified of my next video. So today I'm doing another dress haul. I, I've done, um, I did a tour of my living room and that went down well and some requests for some other rooms. But, I, you know, I've got to really tidy them up before I do each one. And in the summer when I have the children here and so much and everything, it, it's, uh, they're not as tidy as I want to, want to publish. So... I will get to that and show you some of the other rooms in this house, which you know, I'm very proud of. We worked very hard to achieve this. And um, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, today I've got an M&S dress hall and one kind of little um, Bowden dress, actually, that's from John Lewis that um, I picked up and I'll explain about that too. So, um, yeah, they look really nice. I mean, I've literally just got them out of the bag and hung them on the wardrobe. And so I will crack on with those. I've had a busy week with one thing and another and the children, and it's all been quite hectic. My daughter and son-in-law have been going through some stuff with their business, which meant they were, like, really overwhelmingly busy and stressed. And so I've been picking up with the kids which is lovely you know I get to um, have a more of a relationship with them although yesterday they were very trying and my hip was very painful so that was not gonna lie that was a difficult day but we got through it and we're out the other side and the sun's still shining and I'm still loving that so I hope you are wherever you are you're having a good time um, so I will crack on with the dresses and then I'll have a little chat at the end and as I've said before if you don't like the chat, most people seem to, but you know, you're perfectly, obviously, sure, it's your, in your control. If you don't like it, then just scroll on by and um, watch the bits you do enjoy. I hope that you find something that you like in there. And uh, yeah, I'll get on with the dresses and um, you can see what you think. So just before I try on the dresses, I just wanted to show you these, uh, my new sandals. Uh, Joseph, um, what they call Joseph Siebel, I think that's how you pronounce it, from John Lewis. Um, I ordered three pairs and I've decided to keep this pair. They've got this Velcro instead of the buckle, which is handy. I don't know if I said before, but I had terrible plantar fasciitis last year. God, that's such a painful thing. And so I have to have um, this like orthotic sole here to support my instep. I've got really high arches. So I'm hoping that these be comfortable. I know they're not the height of fashion, but I think they're kind of almost nude and hopefully they'll they'll do the job. I just needed something that I could wear and be comfortable in because my hip's really bad as well. God, I'm going to the dogs. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd show you those. They're, they're what I'm going to be wearing. I think they were $59.99 reduced from about 80 or 90 because they're, they're very high quality. Leather, soft, nice leather insole. So, um, yeah, I mean, I wish they didn't have the name on the back, but I don't think it's that kind of big a deal because I think most people don't know the brand. But anyway, let's hope those do the job and I'll pop those on with the clothes and I'll be right out. Thanks. So this is dress number one. 
Um, it's 100% viscose, black and ivory print. It's it's quite a nice fabric. It's kind of um, got a slight texture to it. It's a nice quality viscose. But my goodness, it's very low. Yeah, it's very low. Um, and the shoulders, I think, I'll have trouble with too. I mean, obviously, there's fixes for that. It's got an elasticated waist. It's pull-on. It's got a self-fabric tie belt. And this one, it's 18 in the regular. The sleeves are fab. I love the fact that they come just over my elbows. And I think it is a lovely dress. It's um, quite smart looking. Um, and it's long for a regular. I'm five foot six. This is an 18. If it was long, it would be, I think, on the floor. Um, so... I, I don't know, I'd kind of give it 8 out of 10 really because I don't know if they're going to fall off. But like I say, you know, you can fiddle about and fix those. It's got a nice lowish back, not too low. But um, overall, I think it's a lovely dress. It's it's not hugely voluminous on the, on the hips, so it's not kind of a drowning kind of a dress. And it's cool, it's light, and I think it does look quite smart. It's nice for... Kind of more of maybe of an autumnal, you know, when we get to the ends of because this fabulous weather can't last forever, can it? But uh, I think you'll agree, it's a lovely dress. Oh, did I? I didn't say the price, did I? Hold on, forty-five pounds. So it's kind of high end, really, for a summer dress, I'd say. But I think it's good quality. It looks quality, and I think it's just. I mean, obviously, when you're looking down, it looks lower because I've got that view. Um, maybe from the front, it doesn't look so low, but it's it's very flattering. Um, overall, I think it's a lovely dress. Dress number two, it's a viscose elastane mix, so it's um, quite stretchy. I think it's black and yeah, black mix. And this one was thirty-five pounds. Again, it's got a good length sleeve, but I'm not that keen on this ruffle. Um, it's shirred all through the bust area and round the back. I think this is shaped. Yes, yeah, so that's quite good. It kind of is lower at the back and then goes up slightly. It's got the tiered hem, and this is actually in a long. I don't know why I did regular and long. I think this one, um, maybe they only had the long available in the 18. But if you like a longer dress, this is good. I think it's a good shape around here. Like I say, the fact that that's higher and then goes lower, I think that's, uh, yeah, jolly good. But for me, I don't know, for me, it's a little bit house on the prairie. You know, I'm a bit old for that, aren't I, really? It's this, I think, that I am not keen on. It's just like one frill too many. There's nothing wrong with it. And I think for £35, it's a really nice quality dress. I think it'll wear and stand the test of time. But... Um, I don't think it's a keeper for me, for really, just for that whole thing. I think I just feel a bit, yeah, a bit of a twit in it, really. I've got nicer dresses. Um, comfortable, light, loose, very comfortable, probably really easy to care for, too. But, um, yeah, I don't know what you think. It's really strange, isn't it? I thought that last dress was going to, that was, like, if I'd have had a pick online, I'd have said that that was going to be my favourite, but... It's uh, it's certainly not my favourite. This isn't my favourite either. So there's three more. So let's let's hope one of those ticks that rings my bell, as they say. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's dress number two. This is dress number three, and this is a surprise. I have to say because of all of them, I thought this would probably be my least favourite. And at the moment, I'd say it's winning. It is the most comfortable fabric i'll just check what it is it's um oh this is in the long as well um and this was just 25 pounds and it is viscose and elastane again but oh my god i mean it is just the most comfortable dress i think it's nice i think it's flattering i think um i love the color yeah, 20, 25 pounds. I'm I'm really impressed with this dress. It's 
it's not tight at all here it hides all the lumps and bumps it's it's not so fabricy that it's going to blow up the sleeves are a good length the back yeah they've done that thing again where it's it seems to be lower on the back maybe it isn't maybe it's just my boot no maybe it isn't maybe it's just my boots pulling it up yeah no it's no, it's not lower at the back it's straight round. i thought that was very clever 25 pounds anyway i don't know what you think but uh i think i think this is really i mean obviously you'll know by now that i absolutely love blue and i would say that this is a real winner i wish it had a slightly you know you can't have everything can you i guess you can but at a slightly lower neck but you know it's um i think it's really really like everyday dress this one it, you could just throw that on and you feel done that's why i like dresses you know that you, i mean i do wear loads of separates too but you know you can um you just put it on you're done i mean that's a whole outfit wouldn't really get a top and bottom for 25 quid would you but yeah so what's that dress number three i think that's a keeper and this one is 29.50 and this one is 100 percent cotton i think it's the only pure cotton dress i've got here today and this one looked fab on the website i'm not so sure uh it's got this line of sharing here above the sleeve which i actually prefer to the i mean i don't know why why i don't know this one's 29.50 did i say that um it's tiered and this one is in the regular is it in the regular check 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 i don't want to be lying to you yeah this one's in the regular so it's quite a nice dress um but of course black in the sun is hot but with um some black sandals which i do have um this might look quite smart again it's got plenty of room the waist is in a good place on me it just skims my tummy area i think i think the different placement of the spots you know having the smaller spots and the bigger spots is good i guess that's more slimming to have it that way around i don't know what do i know but uh, no pockets or anything but i think um for this kind of price you just don't get pockets in these uh, more expensive brands doesn't scream summer does it but um yeah i'm not sure i think i might have preferred it if if the whole top was in one fabric so if this had the larger spots as well it's a bit bitty but it's not a bad dress and uh i probably admire it on somebody else but i'm i'm not kind of it's not floating my boat as they say but i don't know what you think but it's good to see isn't it without you know, when you're trying stuff on you might as well get a selection to try but uh, it's nicely made i mean the thing is when you pay that bit more you do get things like the attention to detail of the line of spots and stuff like that which one would hope but uh yeah so that's dress number four now th this won't make sense because i've had to slot this dress in because i forgot about it until i went to take off the final m s dress so this is the Bowden dress i was talking about and this was £49 reduced from 110 And I absolutely love it. I know it's low, but kind of because, I don't know, because it's got the V, it's not like my whole chest is exposed. It's got a zip, but actually I just pulled it on. I think it's a fabulous length. It, I mean, it's not iron. This is straight out of the bag. It's fitted, not fitted, but it kind of skims down to here and then it's got two tiers. But, um, now i really love this dress i think um is it viscose probably everything seems to be viscose that's a pulp or something from a tree isn't it viscose i did look it up once um made in turkey eight thousand languages yeah 98 percent viscose and the other bits leap eco something or other i can't read it but anyway i don't know what you think but um i just love it i just love the fact it's got the pockets i think it looks really classy it's a little bit different 
the fabric's great. It's got the pale pink, the blue, the orange, the every colour. I look great with a nice chunky necklace. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this dress. So, you know, it, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Some things just appeal to you. You can't explain it. I mean, yes, I guess that's a maxi, actually. I mean, I've got flatter sandals on than I might wear if I was going out. But anyway, so that's kind of the bonus bonus Bowden dress that, um, as I say, I'll, I'll put it in between four and five on the M&S dresses. So everything's going to be out of sequence, but I'll link everything in the, in the uh, box below. And that is one thing I would actually say, that although John Lewis sale has actually officially finished, if you're looking for something, still in the search option going for best discount, highest discount applied, and then it will bring through all their um, markdowns that, you know, they, they, they mark down all year round. So don't be thinking just because the sale's finished that there's nothing, no bargains to be had, because there always is. So anyway, as you were, slot this one in, bit messy. But um, when I went back in and saw it there, I was like, oh, no, I forgot to do that one. So as I said before, I'm not pretending I'm professional at this. I, I just like sharing. So thanks again. This is dress number five. And I wanted to love this dress because I absolutely love the fabric. Can you see this beautiful green, the kind of olive green, and then the pale pink stripe running through? And this one was $39.50, which if it suited me, I would buy in a heartbeat. But I'll show you why it doesn't suit me. It's kind of hasn't got a waist like, uh, you know, um, a seam at the waist. And it's got these panels at the side. And this is in the long. And it's got these panels that run up. It's a lovely design, but I think it's, it's, you know, it, it's not the best dress for me because you can see all my lumps and bumps and uh, and also the neck is quite high for me in a dress that doesn't really do a lot for me. Um, this is, this goes too. And um, yeah, it's a real shame because I just love the fabric. I absolutely love the fabric. So there we are. You can't win them all. I'll just uh, sit myself down and have my little chat. So that was the five dresses today. Um, let me see, get this camera in the right position. Yeah, so uh, I love this fabric. It doesn't suit me. So, you know, I, I've kind of got past the age where I have to compromise for the dress. You know, I'd have to wear shape where I, I'd it would just fall into the too difficult bracket, really, and I'm just too old for that, which is why I'm looking at comfortable sandals. And I have to say at the moment, oh, my hip's killing me. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Um, the sandals are really, really comfortable. Um, so that's, that's it from me today. That's the five dresses. I hope you like them. I hope you're inspired by them. I've just seen they've had a new drop of dresses probably going into more autumnal um, look. So I'll have a look at those and see if I think there's anything worth looking at there. Again, thank you all so much for watching, subscribing and commenting. I'm still trying to reply to all the comments because I think if people have taken the time to write to me, then I should try and take the time to write to them. I have got an incredibly busy week this week with visitors, my, my old friends from London are coming down to see me for the day on Monday. So I've got that all day. I've got, we're out on the boat tomorrow. And then I've got the funeral on Thursday. Um, seeing a friend that sadly broke her leg on Tuesday. And I've got the children on Wednesday. And then my son and grandson are coming down Thursday night and staying for the weekend. And my daughter-in-law, of course, as well. So that's really lovely because I don't see those that grandchild and my son as often as uh, my daughter with the kids. My other daughter stayed last night too. So like you can see, it's pretty busy. The B&B &B has been solidly booked. So I've been having to, um, you know, get that, what I call a 
a changeover day where people leave and people come in on the same day. So that's always quite hard work getting all the washing and cleaning done for that and all the supplies put back in. So anyway, I don't want to bore you with that stuff. I just, I just wanted to um, share this little analogy with you and see if it resonates. So I was reading on Twitter and it said um, how libraries absolutely depend on at least a third of their books being out on loan at any one time. And if, if for some reason all the books came back into the library, they couldn't accommodate them. And that reminded me of, I need a certain amount of clothes in the wash. When I get completely up to date with my ironing, I'm like shoving stuff in the drawers and trying to find a hanger. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that resonates with any of you ladies. Oh, and by the way, I've decided to keep the bag because so many of you said what I was thinking, which is, you know, why not treat yourself, all those other things. And, you know, I mean, I make myself die because I can kind of go, you know, oh, well, that's two nights Airbnb. But that two nights Airbnb will have paid for about four different things. But I'll, I'll use it, you know, in my head to justify a purchase. I'll be like, oh, yeah, well, that's just two nights Airbnb. But the same two nights Airbnb gets gets used for so many things and yeah you know it's a bit nauseous now I don't really need it but it's lovely what can I say um yeah that's that's it from me I think for today I hope you all have uh, a lovely time whatever it is you're doing and I will see you again soon thanks for watching bye